19 refugees from Burma and Russia arrive in Tulsa tonight. Catholic Charities worked around the clock so these four families can have a home. Two Works to reporter Katie Wisely is live at the airport tonight. So Katie, tell us about the arrivals. Brian and Karen, good evening. Five refugees from Burma just walked through these doors here behind me, excited to finally step foot on American soil. Now they're turning to Catholic Charities for guidance. You can hear the wheels squeak. This cart full of items some of us take for granted. Every refugee, uh, when they come, um, has an amount um, that they are uh, given to live on for three months. That amount, $1,125. Over the last year, we settled 350 refugees. Catholic Charity says that number only to decrease in the future. President Obama had um, an executive order that said he would allow 110,000 refugees in. And we have every reason to believe that President Trump's executive order limiting the number to 50,000 will stay. Although President Trump's travel ban is currently halted, Catholic Charities says it did affect the arrival date of the five refugees from Burma and 14 from Russia with plans to come to Tulsa. They were probably going to come the first week of February or even late. January. Congregation B'nai Amuna partners with Catholic Charities. They'll provide an English second language class to mothers with children. Being a part of an ESL class can help um, in gaining citizen status. The Hebrew writing on the wall stands for acceptance, a motto the Jewish community lives by. To think about the journey that they took um, to get here and really um, for at its most basic level to find safety and to be free. Now an office full of basic essentials will lie in the hands of four families hoping to start a new life. For these people, seeing their faces, it's all worth it. Fourteen Russian refugees are expected to be here later tonight around 1130 and also later in the week on Thursday and Saturday. More refugees are expected to arrive here in Tulsa. Reporting live in Tulsa, Katie Wisely, Two Works for you. All right, thank you, Katie. Tonight, 